You know what's a great feeling? Knowing there's a trait out there that specifically says, World, I want you to get weird on me. No, like, don't don't give me any of that normal stuff. I want to see geckos dressed up like dinosaurs having a tea party. Okay, It's not actually an encounter, but it would be nice. No, I am, of course, talking about the wild wasteland trait. If you've got this, there's actually a bunch of really wacky things that you might see when you're exploring the Mojave Wasteland. So today, I wanted to list my top five wild encounters in Fallout New Vegas. Let's get into it. Also... I will just be sticking to encounters in the base game, and I will likely do a DLC version in the future. So now let's get into it, if you're, if you're ready. Starting off with number 5, we have the Rodents of Unusual Size, also known as R-O-U-S's. Uh, these are the biggest rats you can find in the entire game, they're massive! In the first person, you can't even tell just how big they are, but then you switch to third, and they're just as big as your character! You can actually fit inside of one's belly if you wanted to. I did. I sort of uh, jiggled the lungs a little bit, it was fun. Uh, now, you obviously have to have the Wild Wasteland trait to see these things, and if you do, you can find them in several locations, although where I went was the Brock Flower Cave. You can find this just to the north of uh, Camp Searchlight. I decided I decided to choose this location because it looks more like the scene these things are based off of. See, in case you didn't know, these rats are a reference to the R.O.U.S.'s from the movie Princess Bride. Uh, Wesley gets attacked by one of these creatures, only one, and he comes very, very close to losing his life. That's how monstrous these things are. I mean, I, I took on like 13 all by myself, but that's just because, I, I don't know, I, I do what I do when I do it, so... Number four, we have the one. Oh. See, I, mi I missed an opportunity there. I should have just waited and said, And number one, we have the one! Uh, <laughs> but I missed it, so, damn. Number four, we have the one, and uh, this is a big, fat nuclear bomb. Luckily, it hasn't gone off yet, but I did. I wanted to make sure this wasn't still active, so I tried throwing dynamite at it, and nothing happened, so we're, we're alright. Now, when you get up to it, you can see that it's got a timer that's stuck at 9999. Um, I'm not sure what good a timer would do, for something that was probably meant to explode on impact, but that's why this is so wacky! Now, if you try activating the bomb, it's gonna say, yeah, this is just a dud, don't worry. However, you can salvage components from it if you've got 60 science, and if you do, you'll get 150 energy cells, 50 microfusion cells, and two sensor modules. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It, it's still something, but the thing is, when the developers first put this here, it was originally going to give you mini nukes if you tried salvaging it, right? That's that's how it works. It's um, it's just like a car. If you try breaking it down, you'll get a bunch of Hot Wheels. So I wish they kept that. Number three, we have the Refrigerator Death Trap. You can find this just to the north of Good Spring Source. Um, if you're walking along the road, you'll see a refrigerator, and it's off to the side. And if you go up to it, you'll find Billy the Kid. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Stop. He's working as a slave right now, actually. But what you will see are the remains of an unlucky person. I guess they tried hopping inside of this as they saw the blast on the horizon about to wipe out all of the Mojave. Um, looks like it didn't do them very much good. I mean, the door got totally ripped off, and the refrigerator itself, it was probably inside of a house, like a mile away, it got launched. Ugh, sheesh. Imagine where the cat is. See, this this is why you have to hide in something more sturdy, like a barrel. Like a like a barricaded bear den. Oy fm. Anyway, I, sh I should talk about what's important here. This is a reference to Indiana Jones. There's a part in the um, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, I think that's the fourth movie, where Indiana takes shelter in a refrigerator to survive an atomic blast. And it works. Somehow it works. Um, but here, that's not the case. This version, it gives just a, a, just a slightly more realistic depiction of what would have happened. Number two, we have the Hovering Alien Ship. Uh, you can find this just to the north of Horowitz Farmstead. When you approach, you can see something something hovering above the mountain. Kind of look, looks like a UFO. UFO. And then below, there's these figures. Oh my gosh! They must be dogs! Oh, wait, no, they're aliens. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so, well, I guess I, so I, I guess I tried attacking them, thinking, well, oh yeah, their ship must have been hit during the atomic blast. They dropped to the surface. Now they're just stranded and probably weak. I'm going to go cut their filthy hands off. So I did. I tried, and that was a bad idea. These aliens, they're very tough. That's because they have special firepower. See, so if you kill them and take their stuff, there's three different guns you can get. One is the alien atomizer. Uh, this is a pistol with, it's got this thin, sleek design. It's really cool. 
Another is the Alien Blaster, something you're probably more familiar with. And then the last is the Alien Disintegrator. This is a glowing rifle that shoots out beams as big as cannonballs. So yeah, all of these are pretty cool. Um, they actually can also be found back in Fallout 3 during the Mothership Zeta DLC. Um, and then in addition to that, the Alien Ship here, it's got the same appearance as the one from Fallout 3 that starts that same DLC. So it's very likely these aliens, they're from that uh, same Mothership. They, yeah, they probably came here to abduct me and then probe me in my behind. See now, oh boy, it, just thinking about that, it gets me, it gets me royally irritated. And number one, we have the Mods Muggers. Uh, they're going to approach you once you leave the Cerulean Robotics Building in Freeside. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, this, this is a bit of a surprise. I mean, three old ladies, pretty strong for their size, can't even disguise their tries to cut your eyes. Lies and deceit they run on, wisen up to the treat. Now come on, cause I'm missing that trick or what I got this inventory for to prove to you that I can take a bottle too and twist the cap easier than setting up a trap and robbing men with rolling pins and pocket knives. Maybe if you value your lives, you'll stop while you're ahead. Oh shit, I cut it off. See what happens when you piss me off? And I know this is wacky, I'm sorry, but isn't that the point? Or is that my knife in the back of this nanny? Somebody get me some ointment. I meant, scent, I meant, feeling nothing, sorry. Mug me again and I'll drop you in a quarry. Let the rocks beat all the bottle caps out of ya. Can you hear me from down there? I've got your cane. What's that? You're mumbling. You're gonna mess up my train. Of thought. There it is. Why was I rapping again? Oh yeah, because alliteration is fun if you can make it happen. We've got Irate Ida, the fighter, Malefic Ma, the fraud, and Rancorous Ruth. Who knew she still got one good tooth? It was gold. Made no sound when I pulled it out of her skull. And I'll use it in case my assets freeze in the void. Go null. This has been the Mods Muggers Encounter. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was weird. This trait I've feared, but now I guess I employ it. And there you have it, my top 5 wild wasteland encounters in Fallout New Vegas. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And down below, please tell me, do you have a favorite encounter of your own? <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for watching. Um, I am, I'm sorry if that rap back at number 1 was kind of weird. Yeah, since, since getting this trait, I've just, I've been feeling a bit off. But that's why I actually told the technician the other day, I said, look, this bubble gum, it's not going to get the marriage going. What you got to do is find a sloth that's been dipped several times in paint. Otherwise, you're just not going to see the woodchuck chuck dirt.